Our next speaker is Julie Walker and Julie is a councillor for the Gympie Regional Council and Julie today is standing in for the Mayor. Please welcome Julie Walker. Hello friends, hello residents of the Merry Valley and all those supporters of our No Dam protest. Let's hear it, one big one. No Dam. Yes. I've been asked this morning to speak about the flows of the Mary River below the proposed, let me hear that word, proposed. It's only proposed at this stage and that's why it's going to stay. We are not having it. Um, the flows of the river below that proposed wall. Uh, one of the government's very own um, consultants sent in to a report to council and um, I don't believe any of the uh, big guys had a look at that report before it came to us at council and it said in it, and a lot of people have read my letters to the editor, it said low or no flow is expected at points along the Mary River after the wall has been built. Now, that's great for all the animals, isn't it? That's great for all the fish, that's great for everything associated with it. And uh, once that got back into the paper and then the, the big wigs read about it down in, in Brisbane, they sort of had the, oh my God, what have we done? We've let a consultant get a report through without us seeing it. And um, all the claims came out that, no, no, that was a furphy, that was wrong, that was, yes. So, you know, without any flow below the wall, what do we expect? Okay, we don't have town water for... Gympie, you know, all the other towns along the way, Tyro, keep it going, you know, all the way to the, the bay. The, the, they expect that the inflows from the, the creeks will keep that going. No. Then the next thing they tell us is that we can't put our treated effluent back into the river. Now that water is crystal clear. When it leaves our treatment plant, it's crystal clear. So we're actually contributing back into the river system a, a, a supply of water that is just beautiful and crystal clear. No, it can't do that anymore, so we've got to go and spend mega millions building a big treatment plant and then putting that, disposing that water on land somewhere. So hey, we don't get that either, so there's less water. So don't they, you know, water, water is very, very precious to all of us. And we out in the country who don't have town water, we know how precious it is. We only use like 5,000 gallons of water and, and keep that supplied. What is their problem? Um, I remember reading and hearing when, the, when Peter Beattie went up in that, that helicopter on the first time. We all know that it was a, a knee-jerk reaction, a rush of blood that said, you know, if we, if we put in a major dam, then they're going to vote for us. And um, we didn't have the time to get a band of people together and say, no, this isn't a good option. We have the options. They own the land. They have owned the land for a long, long time in the headwaters at Lake Barumba. That dam was supposed to be finished by 2007. Then the government put it back to 2011 and then they came in with this harebrained scheme of having this huge wall. And that's another issue. The rumours going around of what type of wall they want to put in, well, let me tell you, rolled concrete, I've heard that it breaks down and puts lime back into the water above and below the wall. Now that would make the pH level in that water rise, therefore blue-green algae, etc. We have all sorts of problems in our other lakes with kabomba and all those other weeds, pests. The, there's so much weed in some of these areas that the light cannot get into the water, therefore no fish can breed, no fish can live, no fish can exist. And we're, we're talking fish. Well, let me say, you've all heard that each and every day there is another, another animal, another being discovered. Now, there could be millions and millions of animals, fish, plankton, any sort of little um, being under that water that we don't even know is there yet. And what are we doing? We're just killing them. And um, once we get that problem, Below the wall is going to be another problem. Farmers, if there is water coming from that, that dam, they have to treat that water before they can use that on crops. So there you go, more crops are ruined, more crops are gone, more farmers are gone. We have an, an, a, a terrible, terrible travesty happening here and we have to hit this on the head before it happens and support 
all of these functions support anything that will save us from this terrible, terrible travesty. So please let me all hear you once more with the no dem. No dem! No dem! No dem! No dem! Thank you very much.